All right, all right, all right. So, um, we hit level 40 within a few days of season four starting due to Puma Chaos. Um, they renamed it from Puma Mania. I'm not sure why, but um, W rebranding because three days of double XP, triple XP, four times XP, as well as stacking every single coin you got, got me here. Um, just to let you guys know, it is. 9 43 p.m on mlk day so you know shout out to everybody you know what i'm saying big, big mlk day but what i want to tell you guys is that with the level 39 reward um my build is my build is almost complete it's almost there and i'm gonna tell you guys why it's almost there uh the badges man it's it's all about the badges for me um i feel like when you have badges and they help you do the things that you really want to do the most it's insane so for instance if i want to be a super finishing like you know threat you know uh goal acrobat just cheesing people throwing up bull crap shots and stuff like that i would have went with the double core on finishing and double cord probably posterizer and limitless takeoff in order to get acrobat as well as uh aerial wizard right now for me, shooting is everything. I feel like sometimes my build can't shoot, and I know why it is. Every jump shot video that comes out on YouTube or shorts or Instagram reels or TikTok, 2K is finding a way to somehow tweak it or, you know what I mean? Like, they have to. It's no way that these jump shots change season to season. Maybe it's due to drop frames. Maybe it's not. But I feel like every jump shot that I've had, and I've only had like two or three, has changed throughout the seasons. Now, the badges setup that I'm running right now, I'm running Amped on Gold, Space Creator on Silver, Green Machine Cord. I'm running Guard Up on Gold, Catch and Shoot Cord. And I'm using Dead Eye and Limitless Range both on Silver. Now, as far as... Uh, my next core badge in shooting, it's definitely going to be dead eye so I can get one more badge point so I could possibly put space creator on gold. And this is my running the offense setup. When I'm not running the offense, I have on corner specialist and I have on claymore. I take amped off. All right. So if you if you're looking for like badge setups and stuff like that, you got to tweak it. You got like my bad setups, honestly. Um, I haven't renamed any of them for this build simply because I've only been using one bad setup, but I should have something that says like a uh, ball handler or, um, you know what I mean? Or hash sitter or corner sitter. I should have three different bad setups and loadouts. So I don't have to keep changing badges every time, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, as far as playmaking goes, my playmaking badges have kind of evolved from time to time inside the park i find myself not needing unpluckable like at all but i find myself in a wreck needing a pluckable more than any other playmaking badge within my setup but this is my current setup for park um you got to have your bronze bail out if you don't have bronze bail out you you're losing out here you're gonna throw the ball out of bounds every time you're about to take one of the craziest shots of your life um needle threader of course is top tier um especially with bail out quick first step vice grip hyper drive Clan breaker, that's just, you know what I mean, all the easies. Um, as far as defensive and rebounding, I've actually stepped away from thinking that I need me a badge to help me steal the ball. Now, this is the crazy thing. 2K, of course, they patch steals and everything like that as far as back taps and, you know what I mean, wrap around by cross body steals and stuff like that. But everything else, it still plays like day one. You feel like if you press square, you're suppo you are entitled to getting a lane still but sometimes everything ain't a catch most of the time it's tips most of the time is 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 like fluky behind catches or you might put both your hands up as a ball zips by you and stuff like that but you have to understand that sometimes you're fighting gold needle threader as well as you're fighting silver to gold bailout so you know most of the time i just say you know what who needs it plus with all the new like on ball steel mechanics being taken out I don't need glove anymore. I can get the ball out of somebody's hand if they, you know, come to come to the ball side and I'm, I'm just waiting there for the ball. I can get those steals without glove and without interceptor. I've streamed for at least four days without it. 
and I've been having success when it comes to steals. As far as clamps go, clamps is what I need. People with this goddamn clamp breaker, like anything that can help me possibly stay or keep them in front of me is the best badge in the world. Off ball pets, I have it on goal. I don't really use it much, to be honest. I could go interceptor if I wanted to on uh, bronze, but I don't really care. I could go glove. I could go ankle braces, but I'm not really worried about those badges. The main badges that I use the most or work her or workhorse challenger and chase down artist and of course anchor saves my life through everything else now as far as my takeovers go easy blow boss plus juice give me like the 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 craziest boost to everything that i do as far as dribbling and stuff like that um this build was made in season two i used it all season three and I believe that I will use it again all season four. I feel like I don't need to invest any more money into 2K as far as builds go. This is a point guard, which means it could play the one, the two, the three, and the four if any of those other builds have higher ball handle and, you know, speed with ball and pass accuracy than me. If they don't, then you're just going to have to go ahead and deal with the 6 9 demon taking your spot. Um, <laughs> as far as my jump shot i just recently changed my jump shot um i actually found this jump shot on a uh youtube short believe it or not youtube shorts is a w i advise you if you're not watching them watch them but um i found this jump shot um i'm gonna go ahead and uh go in and show you what the jump shot actually is um let's go ahead and check it out nope got a jump shot boom boom all right let's go all the way up all right so we have O'Shea Brissett as the base. Everybody uses it. I know it's cheese. Um, Oscar Robinson as the release and Clay Thompson as the second release. But the blending is 70-30 towards Oscar Robinson. A lot of people would think since Clay is a shooter, it would be 70-30 in the other way. And plus it's on the fastest. But if you look at it 70-30 on the other way, you notice that things started to drop. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they put it Oscar Robinson's way. For that defensive immunity of course now i'm gonna tell you right now i played one game with this jump shot and green both my shots and then i was like you know what i'm in love i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep it there i may delete all the other jump shots that i have simply because they have served their purpose for instance kevin save me kevin save me is honestly a corner sitters jump shot you are not supposed to be a hash sitter with this jump shot you are not to be creating your own offense with this jump shot. And this is with the Kevin Durant base, Rudy, Rudy for, no, I'm sorry, Rudy Gay and Julius Randle uppers. Um, Clay Clay is Brissett. Um, Clay Thompson and somebody else's uppers. Um, Rudy Rudy is uh, Brissett with my Rudy and Randle uppers. Um, Oscar is the one that I just showed you guys. In New York Minute, this jump shot, believe it or not, I tried it. Um, New York was New York was telling me that it's a uh, it's a fast jump shot, like super super fast. But I'm gonna be honest with you, when I shot with it, it felt kind of slow to me. But I'm gonna show you guys that anyway. He should have a video on his YouTube channel about it. So if you guys want to check that out, you can as well. But um, yeah, this is a uh, Tareem Prince, uh, Kevin Martin release one, Tobias Harris release two, um, 100% speed of course. And 57.43 on a blend. And I do shoot on late timing. So if you, you know, you come over here to uh, uh, controller settings, I do shoot on late. All right. So shot time and releases late on that. But um, as far as season four uh, prizes go, I can, I can literally tell you guys what's a WRL. Okay. Now um, we're going to start from. The beginning of the season um joint and i'll tell you guys what's what's a what's a big w and what's an l to me um of course all the cosmetic stuff is cool you know what i mean i like those things but you know it, it's really about the gameplay stuff for me and we'll go over that but the snowflake ball trail is probably the biggest w of the entire like season rewards that is a cosmetic okay the snowflake ball trail is beautiful making it snow out there every time you shoot the ball is dope and it and it doesn't mess with like your visual cue or it doesn't take your eye off the ball when shooting 
is is really really dope and it's it's it's, it's amazing to me don't i don't like the new shot meter um i don't like the warrior helmet indicator i don't really play my team at all um i'm not never going to use any nba team green releases until they release the 76ers one um haven't checked out any of the new emotes all the xp coins were a w because he helped me reach level 40. um i've seen the armored sci-fi gloves in the park with others wearing them i'm not really a big fan of them uh love the banners of course uh don't like the lion head player indicator simply because i'm using the, the um the lightning ball right now um per the perimeter defense um sleeve is a big w because you little guards need it i'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there i'm sorry uh, uh john moran and penny hardaway banders is fire um more emotes the go-kart was fire i actually have a chrome go-kart now so that's that's a w i copped a, a chrome one out of that um the season four pants skinny jeans they, they actually was cooler um zach levine and joel and b banner is fired i love the joel and b banner of course i'm a Sixers fan you already know that um the one per, the plus one driving dunk in all honesty is amazing but like 2k said these don't help you with any badges or anything like that so it's just like if you got a 98 driving down uh, hey you got 99 is it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you ain't getting no hall of fame you know what I'm saying um the color dread hairstyle is a w i can't lie to you um i wore it for a few games it really really looks dope um i hope that 2k does drop different color variations of it because it, it, it's really dope um the plus one three-point shooting i cannot scream how much of a w this is um i will be wearing this sleeve exclusively in the park from here on out exclusively okay um the way lebron warriors big three banners uh really really dope if you're a fan of you know the dynamic duels in miami or the big three um the fighter pilot helmet it messes with my shooting cue so i don't like it but it's dope to see people running around with different helmets on their head and different colorways but i i definitely don't like it um steph curry and kobe dynasty banners the kobe banner is amazing you know what i'm saying we you already know, you know what i'm saying rest in peace mama um the curry joint is fire too but i already have a curry banner that you guys see up in the top right that's my banner forever i'm only going to use that one it it looks so good when you're level 40 and you have the hall of fame tag for your overall 99 like look at it. it it just blends super well bro like if I was if i was a knight it, that'd be a w um yo the mountain dew jersey rewards is fire um i have to go to the shop to look at the other ones i don't know the prices but i'm hoping that they are affordable you know what i mean uh the sci-fi armor i haven't i haven't worn it i redeemed it but i never wore it <laughs> uh the season four because I'm, I'm grinding man i'm trying to hit i was trying to hit level 40 i never put it on maybe i'll put on everything from this season except for the suit all right um extra badge point the the biggest the biggest w as far as gameplay um helping goes as far as the season reward plus one badge point should never leave these rewards ever again i know they took it out last season but please give us plus one badge point from here on out even give us plus two to make up for the one you didn't give us next season please <laughs> um level 40 the drone featuring teleportation technology i know that there is a lot of people out there that just are pissed off at the reward and they feel like it's not worth it they're pissed off what i can say is it is a w and i'm gonna tell you why it's a w when you're trying to go to a park right so let me just show you how it works so of course, you know, you, you get to fly it around and it has like, you know, a height barrier to it, right? But it's really moving for real. Like it's it's really it's really moving. I ain't gonna lie, like it's moving. But when you're in the park, bro, and you're trying to get to a spot, like like you really can beat everybody to the spot. Like legitly beat everybody to the spot. That's how fast this drone is when it teleports you. Now, of course you guys see I'm already at the theater. You know what I'm saying? And I could just press X real quick and it'll teleport me where I need to go without having to ride on a skateboard, without having to hit barriers and stuff with my vehicle. None of that, bro. It's just, it's, it's literally quick teleportation. And if I need to get somewhere like maybe a, a train station or something like that, like I could tap R1, I could bring the drone out, you know what I'm saying? And I could just, have the drone go to where i need to go real fast 
and then I just I just teleport to it. You know what I mean? So if the if the if the train station is like let's say three hundred plus meters away, I just pull the drone out and just go to the and just go to the train station and then hit hit the uh, fast teleport and then next thing you know, I'm going everywhere I need to go. Now let me give you guys an example of what I mean before I get up out of here. Um, check this out. So if I'm in a park, right? And somebody be like, yo, we at um, top left randoms court. Top left randoms court is crazy trying to get there in the, in the wildcats joint, right? So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, bro. I'm just going, I'm just going to go around real quick. You know what I'm saying? Literally just go around here. You know what I'm saying? But we won't look, I ain't got to hit none of these steps. I ain't got to do none of this, bro. I just literally just teleport right over here, bro. I ain't got to hit no steps. I don't gotta be falling off the hill. None of that, bro. I just go, I just go to where I gotta go, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm already at the spot. Whereas though my teammates, they might like look where you gotta go from. You gotta go up. Look at this one dude. The one dude all the way at the bottom at the screen where it say three game streak. Look at him running. Look at him running. He he hitting everything to get on that spot. Like that's how crazy it is to get from one spot or the court to, uh, like from the park to the other side of the park you know what i'm saying like it's it's insane bro i'm not gonna lie to you now with that being said if y'all have any other questions please leave them in the comments um it is time for me to get up out of here uh i appreciate y'all everything that y'all do for me and i see y'all in the streams on facebook gaming and twitch you know what i'm saying and also for them uh them uh, random streams I do here on YouTube. Bye. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.